Hey, this is Salty the Singing Songbook. You might remember me from when you were growing up. Well, over the past few years, I've run into some hard times. I wrote a book on it. It's called Salty Secrets. Salty Secrets. And here I am to read you some passages and expose some of the horrors of being a singing songbook. This is part one. You see, rough times came upon me, and most of the Christian kids' entertainers when VeggieTales came out. It seemed all kids wanted was a talking cucumber or some pudgy little tomato. I mean, what kind of kid would think that is entertaining? That's crazy. Talking vegetables? Who would believe in that? During this period, I went into severe debt. I still am. You see, I thought I was on the high road. Who could stop Salty the singing songbook? I was the it guy for the moment until it all came crashing down. Next thing you know, I was shelved. Get it? <laughs> I'm a book, you idiot. I didn't know what to do. I mean, I have a whole family to support. There's my wife, Saltina, and my kids, Harmony, Melody, and Rhythm. They're triplets. You see, me and the missus were on one of those drug trials for pregnancy, and we ended up with three books instead of one. <laughs> it was fine when they were born. I just put them in the act. But eventually, it became a strong financial burden. We even had a cute little dog named Blooper. He really set us on the wrong track, that dog. He messed up our lives, always hitting the wrong notes while we tried to play. Well, don't tell my kids, but I cooked him for us on Thanksgiving. I was too poor to buy a turkey. And again, something you probably didn't know about songbooks is that we cannot tell the difference between turkey and dog. <laughs> I told them Blooper betrayed us and became Bible Man's sidekick. <laughs> but I do not condone lying to your children. At this point in my life, my home was repoed in West Hollywood. So I packed up my bags and moved to Nashville. Every night, I would sneak my family into the TBN gift shop, go frankincense and myrrh at Trinity Music City, and sleep there. It was a very comfortable place to keep home until the Christmas season came, and they turned on over one million lights. <laughs> People don't know this about songbooks, but we suffer from sleep apnea. A bunch of lights and tourists making noise was no place for us to get some rest. Next thing you know, I woke up and rhythm had run away. All that was left was an empty songbook. He was out there all alone, bright orange, and no book to call his own. To be continued. Salty Secrets. <laughs>